Hello everyone, this is Badger Wild, and today I thought I would do a tips video and a little bit of arc science today. <clears throat> what we have here are three forges, and I wanted to demonstrate the effectiveness of three types of fuels that you have early on in the game. We're not talking about gasoline. This is stuff that you can get your hands on, and this comes from easiest to moderately difficult to get because you're willing to hatch it to get this one. And this over here, which requires the mortar and pedestal, a little bit more work, and a lot more mining. So, just to show you guys what we have here. We have a fully stocked metal forge. Or smithy. With about three pieces of thatch. And our next one, number two, we have... Wait, why do we have one piece of wood in there? Okay. So we got three pieces of wood in this middle one, and I'm worried here. There's nothing in this one. Hmm. <clears throat> I set this all up last night, and apparently it didn't do. So yes, now you see we've got three spark powder in this forge. We have three wood in forge number two, and in no. All right, there we go. Couple technical difficulties, and three pieces of thatch. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna turn these three forges on because I've noticed some people have probably been watching and when I first saw this, Jade was the one that introduced me to this and when I first saw it, I was a little freaked out when he was going in there shoving spark powder into forges <clears throat> and there is a reason now some people say, oh, put wood in there and wood, wood will let you get charcoal out of it however, when you look at the ratios and you see how much more efficient spark powder is than wood you understand you can actually smelt more metal per metal smelting run per forge. So what we're going to do is we're going to go over here. And I'm, I'm going to go even better. I'm going to start from spark powder to thatch to show you how long it burns. Spark powder, wood, one thatch. Now, all we're going to do is we're just going to sit back here. <coughs> And we're just going to wait and see what happens. Now, remember, I can't... The only thing I can put into forges is fuel. I can't actually put metal ingots back into a forge. So what we're going to do is we're going to sit back here. And I'm just going to wait a few minutes. You can see the entire crew is, like, completely knocked out at the moment. You can see right there, thatch just burned out. So that one's done. We're going to wait till everything is finished here. Because I don't want to, like, hop into one and the other... We're just going to sit back and wait. All those will be done. And like I said, spark powder is more effective. You can actually get lots of it. Uh, some people don't realize this, but <clears throat> you actually take a mortar and pedestal, and I'll show this in a video on how to ratio and, like, super efficient your mortar and pedestals out to where if you can figure out what the ratio is, you can then do some a little bit of basic mathematics and figure out how to super efficient your forges to where are all your... Um, mortar and pedestals because then they will be <clears throat> you'll be getting the maximum amount of equipment out of your forge that you can get your hands on or your mortar and pedestals and with spark powder what I normally do is I will put I think four pieces of stone four stacks of stone in a mortar and pedestal and then I will boost that sucker there we go all right, wood's gone down. So what I'll do in the mortar and pestles is I will just put four of one minor, and I'll, I'll do a video on it. It's, it's actually quite explanatory. Apparently we had somebody, something that's walking around outside the base. I don't know what that is. <coughs> it picks a fight with something. It's getting, an, it's getting a butt kicking like you wouldn't believe. There's just too much crap around here to be picking a fight with. Okay. <clears throat> so once the spark powder goes in, you can see that right now we put three stacks in. I started the spark powder first. So it had actually a couple of extra seconds of burn time, but the other two have fizzed out long beforehand. So wood did not last as long. But here's here's the thing. It's not just how long it lasts. <clears throat> it's how much metal that these inch resources will smelt per run. As of right now, I don't know how long this is going to last because, I mean, this will go for a little bit. And like I said, proof is in the pudding. If you want to look at the video, you can go right back to the video and see which one of these does what. 
I'm gonna get my shotgun out and shoot that stupid animal outside. But yeah, right here, this thing is taking forever <laughs> at the moment. Spark powder burns. There we go. All right, spark powder has burned. Now, <clears throat> as you saw right there, spark powder burns way longer, almost twice as long as wood in comparable numbers. Now, in this forge, we had three thatch, three wood in forge number two, and three spark powder in forge number three. So let's start with forge thatch. And we have one metal ingot right here. So thatch has given us one metal ingot. Remember that. So let's go over here and check out forge number two. Thatch is inefficient. This is what everyone likes to use. This is what everyone likes to use in their forges is wood. But let's take a look. Yes, you got three charcoal, and we even ended up with four metal ingots. <clears throat> now, there is a thing with forges, I will explain right now, that every so often there is a bit of a variable I've noticed that a forge will actually take one piece of metal, one ore, instead of combining two, it'll take one and turn it into an ingot. So you can get extra metal ingots, and that's one of the reasons why you want to max your forges out also, like we've done here. That's why you want these forges with as much of this in here as possible because you you push that possibility of having one extra ingot over, well, I could have a two to one ratio. There is that rarity. I don't know what it is. Someone please look it up and figure it out. But there is a variable that allows you to have one extra. <clears throat> so for three pieces of wood that we have here, which here's the proof, three charcoal, we get four pieces of metal. And that was taking advantage of a small variable that's inside that gives you maybe one extra or so often. So now forge number three has eight pieces of metal in it, almost twice as much as the wood. Now the wood you are getting some charcoal, but one of the reasons I like this method of getting my metal using spark powder is that if you look at the ratio is two, is about three metal ingots I believe for every one piece of spark powder, or no, 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 I messed that up. Three metal ore will be smelted. No, six metal ore will be smelted for every one piece of spark powder. So it, it is, it is three metal ingots per piece of spark powder. So what I like to do is, <clears throat> when you look through here and you get finished sticking everything in here, you get about 1,200 metal ore in this forge, and then you put 200 spark powder inside of it, that is more than enough to run a vast majority of your metal. You may have to put a little bit in afterward, but we're talking like 10 or 15 spark powder. If you're like me and you like to smelt your metal in mass, especially when you don't have the industrial forge, this is the best way to do it because you can just stack this whole top row full of metal and then you can just put two pieces of spark powder in here and that'll just run. Those two pieces of spark power will just run it and go, and they're that much more efficient. And in arc efficiency, I found that the more efficient you can be in your resource gathering, manufacturing, and construction, the faster and further you will go in the game. So here we have the most efficient means is spark powder. Now, some people will make the argument that wood will give you some charcoal, and, and yeah, wood will give you charcoal, but here's the thing. In order for wood to do something comparable, <clears throat> wood is a one-to-one -one ratio to some extent. So even with the extra metal ingot bonus, which most people don't even talk about in the game, there is a metal ingot bonus. You will get like an extra one every so often. You can still, you're still only getting one piece of metal for every one piece of wood. So in order to make all that and make it happen, you could put a bunch of extra forges out or you can maximize the amount of forges that you have fill them up to the brim and then go from there and this is how I get all my metal this is how we've been going in about two to three episodes I managed to turn this whole thing into metal and we're in an official server this is an official server this is not a, a server with extra extra resources or anything else we're just working on the official server doing all this so this enables you to build up your your resources will go up faster you can build them more efficiently and hopefully go up them levels much quicker but as of right now I gotta fill the rest of these forges that back up with spark powder and possibly take the new quetzal we have out to go get more metal so this is Badger Wild letting you all know it's not how hard you play the arc it's how smart you play the arc and I'll see you guys next time